welcome to tonight's episode of Matchmaker Secrets where we talk about love, dating, and relationships, and of course, matchmaking. Um, obviously, uh, there's still a lot of um, hesitation as far as dating is concerned, uh, probably because like um, the pandemic happened, and it's not necessarily like, you know, I'm talking about the whole of the United States, I mean, the whole of the United States, there are still uh, some areas uh, probably who's been affected, but you know, um, but um, in some other countries, like, you know, it's still um, in effect that some people are still wearing a mask. And um, I want to talk about it uh, still because like um, in the recent research of, um, the, there's a particular doctor called Dr. Vivek Murthy. He's um, actually uh, an expert in the public health and he's a Surgeon General of the United States. He was talking about the impact of um, isolation as far as people are concerned. And um, of course, like, you know, when we talk, talk about isolation, so there's also the um, impact of uh, being actually um, lonely. So loneliness has always been uh, something which is regularly occurring uh, in our situation, particularly nowadays that, um, you know, uh, we have still the trauma of what happened during that particular time that we have had this pandemic. So obviously you all know what happened during the pandemic, like, you know, there was closure for everything. And then of course, like there was also um, no um, contact among people. And so what happened is that um, of course, like um, we have lost touch of, you know, the inner connection between people and the whole other uh, society. So when you are stuck, uh, at home, just like you know, uh, nowadays, even though um, a lot of offices is open, a lot of people have the option also to be staying at home while they're working because, like you know, that's the new privilege now. People just want to stay home because they have just started to be so relaxed, and then, like you know, they can be uh, working while they're in their pajamas. And so, um, obviously, uh, for some. It's a, a privilege for some, like, you know, uh, when you think about it, it's not really a privilege because, like, you know, you are losing the uh, connection with other human beings. But um, when you think about it, there's also has been a search for um, the uh, personal connection as far as romantic relationship is concerned. Like, um, we all remember that uh, during the pandemic, nobody is really actually uh, having a date. And then after that, um, the release of um, the situation that we cannot, uh, we, we can actually hang out and go out already. Like uh, people are still uh, wondering, like you know, is it okay to actually like you know meet other people because you don't still know, like you know, are they actually safe? And um, the interesting part of that about that is that you know there was a heightened. Uh, interest of meeting other people, even though like, you know, um, there was a hesitation. So it's like a balance which was going on. And then, um, of course, um, there was limited opportunities before because like um, the, the people were just, you know, inside their homes and then like, you know, people started to uh, use online dating. And of course, like, you know, um, sometimes online dating um, can just be like boring after a while if um, you're just meeting people uh, in video because like you were not meeting in person. So as I was saying, like, you know, um, people have become uh, a little bit anxious. And so like, you know, even though we say it's done, but you know, the trauma or the impact of that uh, loneliness still being carried uh, around uh, in your system. And so when you think about it, it's not only the children who were affected, it's also the adults who were affected. Actually, the whole planet was, has been affected by these things. And then um, there, the, you know, the impact of that is like, you know, uh, very, very huge. And um, the COVID-19 pandemic has um, been a catalyst and uh, it has actually caused the different feelings of loneliness and isolation. And then um, the, the challenges which are actually still um, affecting, it's, um, you know, our mental state has become so prolongedly uh, affected by the loneliness we have had. So um, there was, uh, you know, of course, like virtual communication, but you know, there's a different 
um, aspect when you're speaking in person as compared to speaking in virtual uh, session because like you know obviously like you know the human touch is not there so it's kind of different and then of course like you know you cannot really uh, feel so much connected because like uh, there's a, a wall when you think about it. there's a wall between you and the other person and um, you know um, it has become much more heightened that you know the people are now looking for uh, companionship with uh, intimacy and of course like you know deeper connection deeper connection and um, you know uh, when you have a romantic partner it's different because like you know you have sense of belonging and support and fulfillment and um, you know it can actually uh, help reduce your feelings of loneliness and so um, as I was saying online dating was popular but of course like uh, with the rise of the different um, matchmaking um, shows like the Indian matchmaking and of course the Jewish matchmaking. So, you know, uh, people have become interested as well with uh, the work of matchmakers because like, you know, obviously they've seen, oh, okay, um, there's something going on that um, somebody can actually help you in order to find somebody who's going to be able to uh, be compatible with you, uh, not only for your... Uh, physical qualities that you're looking for, but also like, you know, the inner values that a person has. And um, that's a different, uh, you know, uh, fast forward um, solution because like, you know, uh, you're not like searching alone and um, doing everything uh, just like what you do in online dating that uh, you just swipe and swipe and swipe. And um, sometimes like there's no connection. And then the reason behind is that, um, the people that have uh, that you have met are not exactly the person that you're looking for because there is no vetting process, which you know what the matchmakers do. And so, um, as uh, Dr. Marty was saying, it's um, always uh, you know uh, critical for you to take care of yourself. So, like while you're looking for a romantic partner or you don't have it yet, so like you know, it's always. Uh, interesting thing to actually take care of yourself and then um, take care of your mindfulness because like if you don't care take care of that then like you know uh, you're gonna be uh, having a long episode of um, whatever trauma that you have had and um, you just have to uh, engage in different activities which will uh, make you joyful so um, there was a popular class uh, science of well-being um, which was being taught in Harvard and then it was actually made free. And so like, you know, uh, if you get a chance, take, uh, take that course because it's free and uh, you can do it online. So, and you also have to uh, do it on your own pace. And um, in that particular course, uh, I actually took that while I, there, there was a pandemic because like obviously there is a lot of time and um, you know, um, one of the main things uh, for connection is actually like, you know, um, be able to um, be vulnerable in talking to um, the people that you are regularly communicating with and uh, express yourself and then also savor every moment. So um, savoring can be anything like, you know, maybe like, you know, just having that scoop of ice cream. So that's uh, something that you can actually like, okay, spend time because most of the time we're in this, um, uh, everything about, about convenience, and so we make things fast. And so we didn't even um, enjoy the moment of actually like, you know, savoring that particular ice cream or savoring every moment. Let's say you're um, hanging out with a friend, like, you know, be actually in the moment. Because like, if you're in the moment with this person, then the chances are that, you know, you are actually very well bonded and connected with each other. And um, another thing that, of course, uh, you know, they are recommending is, of course, like um, fostering um, connections, not only, uh, you know, um, virtually, but also different um, online communities or, you know, um, as I was saying, personal interactions, not only with um, the people who are in your uh, immediate family, but also those people that, you know, you are uh, friends with and, of course, um, those people who are like someone you can um, have a common interest. And of course, you know, the best scenario is you can find somebody who's going to be uh, the love of your life. Everybody wants to be happy. So like, you know, obviously that's the, the best direction that anyone can get. And so um, also um, 
make sure that um, you are finding other ways in order to uh, meet other people. So even the employers now of different offices are also concerned of the mental health of uh, the people who are working uh, for them. So it's uh, not only like, you know, uh, in our workplace, but also like, you know, I think like it's um, something that the whole society, including the government, can actually work on in order to make things happen that, you know, we can get out of uh, our... Um, loneliness and actually have a sense of belonging. So the whole idea is actually uh, to get out there, meet new people, and then like, you know, explore. Um, you, ha you have to uh, revert back whatever joy that you've had when, you know, before the pandemic came. And so like, you know, recover as much as you can. Because like, you know, uh, if you are actually having this uh, depression or loneliness or, you know, even anger, then of course, like uh, it's gonna be uh, also felt be felt in your energy, you know, even, even when you're looking for somebody who is um, a potential mate, and then you they'll be um, not be interested with you anymore because you know it can be felt in your energy. So I just want you know this to be actually uh, be considered because like um, nobody has probably even thought about like you know the impact of the pandemic is still relevant and so it's still happening and then. Um, you have seen that a lot, like, you know, in the news that, you know, different people have um, different um, attitude as far as, like, you know, how they felt with isolation. So um, the suicide um, cases has actually jumped specifically for young adults. And then, like, uh, you know what happened to the different uh, shootings in different schools. And so, um, yeah, it's a... Uh, the impact is very, very different from different people. And so I just want to make sure that uh, we are all covered. And then if you need professional help, just make sure that you consult with um, a professional who's going to be uh, able to be there just for you in order to make things happen. And then, um, and you know, uh, being a matchmaker, I'm also here just in case, of course, that um, you are interested with uh, finding out how you can actually uh, be uh, updated what's going on in the dating industry and of course like uh, how can you actually meet somebody that's the reason why we make the show we want to make sure that you know we will be able to uh, have success <laughs> in our life and success in our relationships so um, if you are uh, single and uh, wondering how to navigate love, so uh, I would like to have you over here. If you are professional on love, dating, and relationships, we also want to have you over here because, like you know, if we can uh, give back to the society of, of you know helping other people find love, that's the best thing that we can actually contribute to this world. So I thank you again for being over here, and then I see you soon. You take care. Thank you.